Michael David Kerb is an American musician, record company executive, motorsports car owner, and politician. He is also the founder of Kerb Records where he presently serves as the chairman. Kerb also serves as chairman of Word Entertainment. He is an inductee of the West Coast Stock Car Hall of Fame. As the 42nd Lieutenant Governor of California from 1979 to 1983, Kerb, a Republican, was the acting governor of California while Democratic Governor Edmund G. Jerry Brown Jr. spent time outside California on state business and pursuing presidential ambitions. Early life and education Curb was born in Savannah, Georgia to Charles McLeod Curb and Stella Curb, and raised in Southern California's San Fernando Valley. He has one sister. After attending Grant High School, he graduated from San Fernando Valley State College. His maternal grandmother was of Mexican heritage. Career music as a freshman at San Fernando Valley State College, while working in the practice rooms of the Department of Music, Curb wrote the song, you Meet the Nicest People on a Honda, which the company selected for its ad campaign. Dropping out of college in 1963 at the age of 18, Curb formed Sidewalk Records and helped launch the careers of multiple West Coast rock and roll artists. Curb scored the music for the short film Skater Dater, as well as The Wild Angels, Thunder Alley, Devil's Angels, The Born Losers, Mary Jane, The Wild Racers, The Savage Seven, The Big Bounce, The Sidehackers and Blackwater Gold. In 1969, his company merged with MGM Records and he became president of both MGM Records and Verve Records. Curb composed or supervised more than 50 film scores and wrote more than 400 songs. In 1969, he co-wrote a new theme for the TV series American Bandstand, which was used until 1974. Curb organized his own musical group, the Mike Curb Congregation, in the 1960s. They had a top 40 pop hit in early 1971 with the title cut from their album Burning Bridges which was used as the theme of Brian G. Hutton's film Kelly's Heroes. The song reached number one in South Africa, Australia and New Zealand. The Mike Curb Congregation had an adult contemporary chart hit in 1970 with the song, Sweet Gingerbread Man, from the film The Magic Garden of Stanley Sweetheart and had a minor hit in 1973 with the Sherman Brothers composition, It's a Small World. They performed the title song for Dirty Dingus McGee. The group was featured on Sammy Davis Jr.'s number one Billboard Hot 100 hit of 1972, The Candyman. They sang backup on Judd Strunk's 1973 hit, Daisy a Day. Also in 1973 he met and dated singer Karen Carpenter of the musical duo Carpenters, the relationship only lasting for a year. In 1978, the Mike Curb Congregation was featured in The Magic of Lassie, starring James Stewart. They recorded, together, A New Beginning, in 1980, the theme song for Ronald Reagan's successful presidential bid that year. The Mike Curb Congregation were weekly regulars on Glenn Campbell's CBS television show. In 1969, Curb signed Christian rock pioneer Larry Norman to Capitol Records. Curb wrote and produced music for the Hanna-Barbera animated series Catanooga Cats. The theme for the cartoon series Hot Wheels is credited to Mike Curb and the Curbstones. In the 1970s, Curb wrote and produced for Roy Orbison, Marie Osmond and the Osmond Family, Lou Rawls, Sammy Davis Jr. and Solomon Burke. He also signed artists such as The Silvers, Eric Burden, War, Richie Havens, The Five Man Electrical Band, Gloria Gaynor, Johnny Bristol, Exile, The Four Seasons and the Dutch singer Heintje Simons and the Mob. Curb ran a short-lived country music subsidiary label for Motown called Hitsville Records. He co-wrote the lyrics for It Was a Good Time. He received BMI awards for composing Burning Bridges, for Clint Eastwood's Kelly's Heroes, and for composing All for the Love of Sunshine. Curb served as chairman of the inaugural youth concert for President Richard Nixon's second term on January 20, 1973. He enlisted many artists from MGM Records as well as others to perform for the historic event. Solomon Burke, The Mob, Jimmy Osmond, Tommy Rowe, Ray Stevens, The Silvers, the Don Costa Orchestra, and Lori Lee Schaefer were on the stage for the young audience. He served as MC for the program. In 2021, Fisk Jubilee Singers won Grammy Awards for celebrating Fisk. Under Best Roots Gospel Album Category. The album was produced under the label of Curb Records, under the auspices of Curb and Paul Kwame. MGM anti-drug controversy in 1970, Billboard reported that, MGM Records president Mike Curb has dropped 18 acts who, in his opinion, promote and exploit hard drugs through music. Billboard reported that Curb was alarmed by the drug-related deaths of Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, and Alan Wilson of Canned Heat. Among the musicians thought to be included in The Purge were the Velvet Underground and Frank Zappa's group The Mothers of Invention. However Zappa spoke out against drug use throughout his career and by early 1969 had fulfilled his MGM, Verve contract and moved to his own Bizarre Records label, distributed by Warner Brothers. Also, when Eric Burden, who was an advocate of psychedelics, dared Curb to release him from his contract although he was his biggest selling artist, Curb acquiesced. Burden also launched a campaign, by distributing bumper stickers, called Curb the Clap. 
Kerb claimed industry support, but the only record company official he cited, Bill Gallagher, the president of Paramount Records, contradicted him. Columbia Records president Clive Davis said Kerb was grandstanding, and that his anti drug stance had made him a minor hero of the Nixon administration. In 1997, Kerb stated the affair had happened at a time when, you were considered a freak if you spoke out against drugs. Political career encouraged to enter politics in part by Ronald Reagan, Kerb was elected lieutenant governor of California in 1978, defeating the incumbent Democrat, Mervyn M. Dimily. Democratic candidate Jerry Brown was re-elected governor in the same year. During much of Brown's 1979–1980 bid to become the Democratic presidential candidate, Kerb was acting governor, vetoing legislation, issuing executive orders and making appointments. Actions the California Supreme Court upheld as Kerb's constitutional prerogative. Kerb worked with Harvey Milk on the campaign against the Briggs Initiative and persuaded Reagan to oppose it, leading to its defeat. Kerb has been a leading conservative supporter of gay rights ever since. Kerb lost the 1982 Republican gubernatorial nomination to California Attorney General George Dickmagen. In 1986, Kerb ran again for lieutenant governor as the Republican nominee against the incumbent Democrat, Leo T. McCarthy in a bitterly contested race, largely run on the issue of punishment for drug trafficking and violent crimes. A vocal opponent of drug use, Kerb advocated extension of the death penalty to include drug pushers whose narcotics trafficking resulted in a death. As of 2021, he is the last Republican elected lieutenant governor. Abel Maldonado was appointed to the position by then-Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger but lost the subsequent election to then-San Francisco mayor and future Governor Gavin Newsom. In 1980, Kerb was co-chairman of Ronald Reagan's successful presidential campaign. Kerb was also chairman of the convention program in Detroit and was later appointed by Reagan to be chairman of the National Finance Committee. Involvement in car racing A motorsport enthusiast, Kerb is a co-owner of the Kerb Agajanian Performance Group, a team that has won 10 national championships. His sponsorship and ownership have included three of NASCAR's most celebrated drivers. He previously owned Richard Petty's famed No. 43 car in 1984 and 1985, during which Petty achieved his 199th and 200th career wins. Kerb was also a sponsor for Dale Earnhardt during his 1980 Winston Cup championship winning season, and sponsored Daryl Waltrip's No. 12 Toyota Tundra in the Craftsman Truck Series, driven by Joey Miller in 2006. Kerb Agajanian also ran cars for many years in the Indianapolis 500, including for Dan Weldon and Alexander Rossi, with whom he won the 2011 and 2016 Indianapolis 500s respectively. Kerb was the only car owner to win in all 10 NASCAR Auto Racing Series in the United States, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, the Xfinity Series, the Gander Outdoors Truck Series, the Grandum Rolex Daytona Prototype National Sports Car Series, the IMSA GT Series, Continental Series, the Late Model All-American Series, the Modifieds and the K&N East and West Series. Kerb was the co-owner with Richard Childress of the No. 98 Chevrolet driven by Austin Dillon. Kerb is also a longtime sponsor of Thor Sport Racing in the Truck Series, being part owner of the team's No. 98 Ford driven by Grant Enfinger. He also maintained a similar partnership with Phil Parsons Racing in the Cup Series, which also ran the number 98. The Curb Racing team has cars in United States Automobile Club competition. Their drivers Christopher Bell and Rico Abreu won the 2013 and 2014 USAC National Midget Tours. Elvis House in 2006, Curb purchased a house at 1034 Audubon Drive, Memphis, which was once owned by Elvis Presley. Curb renovated the house and turned it over to the Mike Curb Institute at Rhodes College. Awards and honors in Nashville. Kerb has become a civic leader and benefactor of Belmont University, where his donation toward the construction of a new arena resulted in it being named the Kerb Event Center. The university runs the Mike Kerb College of Entertainment and Music Business. Kerb endowed the Kerb Center and the Kerb Creative Campus Program at Vanderbilt University and the Mike Kerb Institute of Music at Rhodes College in Memphis. In 2001, Kerb was inducted into the Junior Achievement U.S. Business Hall of Fame. Kerb was inducted into the Georgia Music Hall of Fame in 2003 and the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame in 2009. In August 2006, Kerb pledged $10 million to California State University, Northridge to endow his alma mater's arts college and provide a lead gift for the university's regional performing arts center. Of the $10 million gift, $5 million supported CSUN's College of Arts, Media, and Communication, one of the university's largest colleges that offers degree and certificate programs for more than 4,400 students. Of the gift, $4 million went into a general endowment for the college, and $1 million endowed a faculty chair specializing in music industry studies. As a result, the college was named in his honor. Studies within the Mike Kerbs College include media, arts, music, business, journalism, and communication studies. On June 29, 2007, Kerb was honored with the 2341st star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. 
CSU Channel Islands dedicated the Mike Curb Studio in Napa Hall at the Camarillo, California campus on October 21, 2010. The studio is a post-production and film and video production facility. In 2014, Curb was inducted into the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum in Nashville, Tennessee and in 2016, he was inducted into the Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame. He was awarded Ray Fox Memorial Award of Living Legends of Auto Racing in Daytona in 2017. Curb received British Country Music Awards as the Record Executive of the Year in 2018. Also in 2018, Racers Reunion featured him in Men Who Changed Racing with Harry Miller and Sam Nunes. Curb was inducted to North Carolina Music Hall of Fame in the same year for his contributions and support of the Hall of Fame. In 2019, Curb received Junior Achievement National Centennial Leadership Award from Junior Achievement.